Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I was listening to Lisa Haven, and she was on Dave Hodges' show, it's a uh, common sense show right here's his page, and he was talking about something that's similar to Jade Helm, but apparently he slipped it right under our noses and didn't get much of any coverage. It wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't even know about it. It's called U W U W E X sixteen. Now this is Davo Seven's site. I uh greatly respect this guy. I watch a lot of his videos. He's on YouTube. Uh One thing I haven't seen is when this is supposed to begin, or whether it's passed. But Lisa Haven's post is September 5th, so that's today. So I just don't know about that. A special warfare exercise across parts of Texas and the nation will bring civilian role players acting as journalists, government officials and guerrilla chiefs. The U.S. Special Operations Command's Unconventional Warfare Exercise 16. U-W-E-X 16. Okay, so you're saying so what? Well, the left did make an attempt to debunk it as I'm about to show. So, as usual, the left attacks us for getting this information out, which means it's trouble. I kept a close eye on Jade Helm, although it wasn't in the area where I live, so there's not much I could do about it. Here we have KFMX.com. Which is an obvious liberal site. Problem with conspiracy nuts is there's always another conspiracy right down the corner. Well, that and they refuse to admit they are ever wrong. That is BS. That is bullshit. There's a new military exercise on the way and the conspiracy theorists are, all, are already frosting the inside of their skivvies in fear. This may have already passed, or it may be ongoing, I don't know. This military exercise is called UWEX-16, which is short for Unconventional Warfare Exercise 2016. The exercises will make their way through Texas, but this time apparently without maps making us, marking us as hostile or whatever. Wacko Fringe websites are already filing up with the usual Theories about FEMA camps and psychological warfare. You see, these people in the presence of the military is about getting, is all about getting used to seeing military so they can turn around and one day and go, gotcha. They, there are also claims that Jade Helm was basically just dropping off military equipment to be used as a later date. And it goes on and on. Well, I have my own concerns. Like, it was about a month ago, I saw another unmarked vehicle. Unfortunately, that picture was on my phone. I'm going to see if I have it on my hard drive. I don't think so. My phone met with a sad end, unfortunately. Uh, so, so, I don't have it, but it was a Hummer. It was completely unmarked, and I was able to identify that there was a, an American soldier, black male in his 20s, and it, and it had those strange antennas on it again. So, you know, that's twice I've seen these unmarked vehicles. Uh, before this year, I've never seen unmarked military vehicles anywhere. Never. 
until this year. So, these uh, liberals are basically mocking those of us who are concerned about this. I'd say uh, let's work on getting the word out on UWE Act 16 and keep a closer eye on things. Supposedly, they're preparing for civil war, as in military units trying to Dave Hodges guy, military units go rogue, and they refuse to round people up and put them in FEMA camps, so they're fighting them. But you can see for yourself, they're mocking us, making fun of us. Let's see who Wes is. And he's some, uh, Doped out, uh, whacked out liberal. Just calls himself Wes. On this station. I don't even know where this station is out of. Lubbock, Texas. So, there you go. Basically, a liberal station is trying to deflect attention, says it's all kook stuff, it's not real, just ignore it, go away, so on and so forth. I don't know what the truth is. I said, I don't, I'm a Yankee up here in New York, so I don't know what happened with Jade Helm, if anything. Can't judge that unless they come here. But I am seeing some indications that something's going on up here. Minor indications, to say the least, but I'm not liking what I'm seeing either. As for Wes, you are infected by the mental disorder of liberalism. Uh, that's a bad disorder. You got problems there, bud. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.